What is up guys, all my dicks here and welcome back to another video and this video is about the new update 1.10 secrets. So these are 11 secrets in Minecraft 1.10. So let's get right into this thing. So these are added in the 1.10, so these secrets are added in 1.10, so yep. The first one is the shield. So I'm gonna be showing you guys this. Game mode, zero. So the shield can deflect arrows, like this. And then it can hit back the attacker, like this. Which is a pretty neat feature. So to activate the shield, you have to crouch. Okay, just like that. So it can deflect the arrow. So it can even deflect an arrow in an angle. Just like that. And then, just like that. So, yep, that was the first one. Let's go to the second secret. Uh, and these are new commands. So game mode one. So there's a new command called video stream. Video stream and video stream action. Slash slash go slash video stream action close. And it says the command you have entered, double server, is not supported on this device. So I tried this on my phone also and I'm on Windows 10 edition so I don't think this command is in the game yet so I don't know what to do with this command but this command is just in the game it was secretly added game rule function command limit and this is gonna limit the functions command limit so this is 10,000 for default so just like that let's go to the third one and that is the composer so this uh, is a normal composer, I just said, just like this. But this one is a little bit different. This is a little bit different than this one, and the difference is this thing is more full than this one. So, uh, cake, 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 cake. I'm gonna be trying to fill this thing, and the cake does not work. I mean, the composer itself does not work. But this thing is a working version of the composer, and this. This is our Composer 3 and it's even more full and this is pretty much all the way full and this one is a glitched one so it is outside of Composer and this is the most glitched one and this is Composer 7 so it's really cool Alright, uh, let's go to the next one and the fourth one is Berry Bush Fall Damage so game mode 0 so berry bush does damage to you, but it can also save your life. So I'm gonna be going high up in the air, and then I'm gonna be falling. I get damage, right? Like I get 5.5 uh, health damage. But if I were to fall in the berry bush, then watch what happens. Uh, just like this. So you don't get damaged that much, but you do get damage from the berry bush. So if you fall from a really high place, then you're gonna die, but berry bush can save your life from that. So just like this. All right, next one we're gonna be looking at is the secret block. Okay, so this is the jigsaw block. Let's see if we can place down on the survival mode. Yeah, we can. So this is the new jigsaw block and you cannot break it. It's just unbreakable. So this block is used to create village, um, the new villages, and um, you can place it in any direction like this. This is up, and this is, I'm going to be showing you guys the down position of this, and this is the down position of this block, just like this. So it has arrows, and the back is nothing, and the front has like some jigsaw, I guess, things. So this block is used in village generations. And game mode one, and you can break these in create mode just like that. Okay, next one is Berry Bush versus what the heck voice? Okay, I'm gonna be getting all these and turning to game mode, game not game time to night, night, and then just like this. So the Berry Bush can also save you just like this. Oh no, not like that, you think it's so the berry bush can save you, just like this. The zombie cannot go through the berry bush for some reason. I think it's um, same as the lava, so they don't. They think the berry bush is like a lava, so they don't go through the berry bush. 
berry bush and let's put all of these in there and let's move on to the next one which is the seventh one so the composter block glitch okay this is a really interesting thing that i found while making a video on the composter like the glitch composter yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna be showing you guys this so this is a normal composter and this is also a normal composter uh, from my inventory so if you're to shoot an arrow on any block, then it's gonna block it like this. Same with composters, just like this. It blocks it, and even from inside, I think. Hopefully, yes, yes, yes. There we go. I mean, not really, cause it uh, stop on the invisible barrier on the top, but it kind of stops. Composter works like a block, just like this. It stops an arrow like that. But if a mob is inside of a composter, then watch what happens. It get damaged. It gets damaged. I don't know why, but it gets damaged. The best explanation for this is the mob hit range is, I mean, the mob hit box is a little bit bigger than the composer itself. So I think that is why the mob gets damaged in the composer. So, so that is probably the most reasonable explanation for this thing. I think. Hopefully it is. Hopefully that is answered. So let's go to the next one and that is, where did you come from, bro? That is, the Wandering Treader cannot be... I didn't finish the sentence, just to intrigue you guys a little bit more. So, I'm gonna be spawning the Wandering Treader, and this Treader, and this mob is a new in 1.10. So, zombies, uh, try to kill this thing. I mean, it's running away, but it will try to kill it. That's obvious. Alright, so I'm gonna be spawning a villager, or maybe like two or three more, maybe a little bit more, and then I'm gonna be spawning one zombie. Watch what happens. Uh, so this is a zombie trying to kill the villagers because there's nothing else better to do. And uh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen pretty soon. The zombie is pretty busy. He's having a really good time right now. And it's gonna happen pretty soon. It will happen. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So these villagers are the zombie villagers. So you guys already know that uh, villagers turn into zombies when they get hit by a zombie. But, uh, Wandering Trader is also a villager. He looks like a villager. It is a villager. Because he looks like a villager. And it trades as like a villager. So it is a villager. But, watch what happens if a zombie try to kill the Wandering Trader. And it's gonna be. That's gonna be the last dude. I mean, actually, there's two more. One more left. And that's the last villager or wandering trader so as you guys can see none of them turned into zombies this means that wandering traders cannot be uh, turned into cannot turn into zombies ever like they cannot be turning into the zombie villagers ever so i checked the code and even the code said that the zombie villager of the trader version does not exist so that's another thing about these things I'm just gonna be killing all of these. Come on, kill. Not not right, it dingus. Come on, let's go. Kill no! You know what? Let, you know what? Let's just do this. Snipe them. <laughs> don't fly away. No, no, I don't wanna. Alright, I'm gonna be putting all these in. And I'm gonna be going on to the next secret end that is Wandering Villager and Nether Portal. So the Wandering Villager. Is attached to the llama. Oh no! <laughs> Let me show you this again. So, if I put the Wandering Trader in the Nether Portal, then Wandering Trader disappears without the llamas. So, Wandering Trader is the only mob in Minecraft that spawns with another mob. So, uh, it can be considered as uh, llamas can be considered as a part of the Wandering Trader, but llamas get detached when the Wonder Trader enters the portal. So I think that doesn't make sense. And in my opinion, I think the Wandering Trader should uh, really go with the Llamas. Or the Llamas should go with the Wonder Trader if they uh, go in the little portal. Like, it should. Seriously, it should. So that was the number 9. Let's go to the number 10th secret in Minecraft. What the heck is this? The large Fern? Oh, this is the bear bush, right? Bear bush, I think. Bear bush. Let's go to the 10th one, and that is the illager beast do not care about. So, I'm gonna be spawning a wandering trader, and yeah, it's another wandering trader effect. 
and I'll watch what happens if I spawn a zombie. So it's gonna try to kill the wanted zombie. A wanted traitor, not a zombie. <laughs> we all know that wanted traitors cannot be zombies. And I'm gonna be spawning another uh, traitor and I'm gonna be spawning the pillager. And pillagers try to kill the wandering trader, but watch what happens. The llamas fall back behind the wandering trader, so it protects the wandering trader. Unintentionally. Yeah, unintentionally. <laughs> it's just the way the, um, the thing is designed. Like, so it's pretty cool, it's pretty neat feature, but uh, pillagers do kill the wandering traders just like this. They kill it eventually. And you guys think that Illager Beast should kill the Wonder Trader too, but watch what happens. They do not, it does not care about it, but Wonder Trader runs away from the Illager Beast. I don't know why, I think this is a bug, but maybe it is a feature. So they just run away from the Illager Beast, but the Illager Beast do not care about the Wonder Beast. I'm wondering, Wonder Trader, my beast. <laughs> I'm gonna be spawning a villager too. Villager. So the villagers do get affected by the, I mean, do get attacked by. Yeah, the beast, just like this, but not wandering trader. I think this is like a tactical version of the villager. Okay, that was the tenth one. Let's go to the last one, which is eleventh one, and that is where the heck did you go? NPCs, NPCs, new NPCs. Yeah, so NPCs has been in the game since one point eight point zero point eight, and but it did not have any features. But in this version, it does have new features. So you can spawn the NPC now uh, by using the summon a slash summon uh, NPC command. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that thing at the end of the video. So I'm gonna be linking a video link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. So that video tells you guys how to spawn the new NPCs. So the NPC now has the dialogue. So, so I'm gonna be typing stuff here and it doesn't do anything, but uh, it just saves what I typed, which is, I guess, kind of useful because you can use it as a mob book, like that, I guess so. <laughs> but here's a really interesting part, so uh, just like this, you can change the NPC's skin to anything you um, desire to change to, it's really cool, okay, zombie villager, a zombie scientist, uh, another one, this, Looks really ugly. And this has my suit. And also this one. This is an ATM or something like that or something really weird. I don't know why they added this thing, but okay. And that is not all. You can also go to advanced settings and you can add URLs and redirect the user to any website that you choose to direct the user to. So you can just do like https dot dot at www.google.com and you can just uh, make the um, user go to that uh, website and you can change the button name to anything you like but da, 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 da. and uh, if I click this thing then it can direct me to uh, any website that I want to uh, go to but I'm not gonna be doing that because if I do that then the screen recorder is gonna be turning off so you guys can check the video link in the description down below to see how this thing works uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys the command thing too, but the command does not work for some reason. It's sad So the command does not work so you can turn the button on or you can turn it off just like that and yep That was it for the 11th one. These are all the other secrets that I found But I'm not gonna be showing you guys all of these because this video is getting too